All right, hello again. A um, few things I want to make sure that I bring up. First of all, is that the monitor? That's correct. How much time? Four. First, uh, yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So first of all, fracking is actually already helping the environment. Everybody thinks of fracking and the first thing that comes to mind because it's been such a big issue. It's harming the environment, right? Releasing methane, damaging you know, uh, natural ecosystems, maybe making certain types of animals go extinct, whatever the case may be. But let me give you an example. According to an article by the American Petroleum Institute, over 40,000 acres of subsurface reservoir rock can now be drained from a site that takes up less than 10 acres on the surface. And this is because it is a fracking site where it used to take anywhere from 40 to 100 acres for them to set up a drilling site to extract natural gas. They can now do it in 25% or less of the actual acreage that it used to require. But it's important to understand this because fracking is helping us not in, in a lot of different ways. Not only is it increasing or decreasing our reliance on other fossil fuels, uh, you know, gasoline and coal in particular, but it's also helping the environment um, in its natural state as it already is. Um, and I, I would like to respond to the affirmative's, affirmative's claim that fracking is, is denying us the opportunity for looking and investing in alternative fuels, more green energies. What it's important to understand is that natural gas is, much, is, is often considered a bridge fuel that will enable us to transition to more renewable energies. And this is because there's a large amount of it um, and it's also, uh, it's less harmful to the environment when we do use it. Um, according to the uh, conserved energy future, we uh, natural gas gives us more time to adapt. Fossil fuels are a non-renewable source of energy and we've known this for many years. However, however, we are not ready for them to run out. In order to give us more time to research safe and effective ways of powering our cars, heating our homes, and cooking our food, we can now use the surplus of gas thanks to fracking, which has uh, given us access to millions of uh, cubic uh, meters of gas that wasn't there before. Um, and to expand on that, natural gas is much more green. According to the uh, Yale Climate Connections from the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies, the burning of natural gas produces fewer harmful particles in the air. The major new supply of natural gas produced through fracking is displacing the burning of coal, which each year contributes to the early death of thousands of people. Coal made up about 50% of U.S. electricity generation in 2008, 37% by 2012. So obviously the large surplus of natural gas that we are now, now have access to because of fracking is helping us reduce these other greenhouse emissions. And it's also helping uh, in, in, increase the health of just individuals, especially rural and urban areas. Um, and also, and, and as I said, it helps reduce greenhouse, greenhouse gas emissions. According to uh, BBC News, in the US, it has also, not only has it significantly boosted domestic oil production and driven down gas prices, but it has also presented an opportunity to generate electricity at half the CO2 emissions of coal. So we all know that there's a lot, we need a lot of electricity, right? The United States is 300 million people, and most of that, 39, according to the uh, U.S. Department of Energy, 39% of that comes from coal. More natural gas and the ability to burn that to produce this electricity that we need means that we can, in that alone, re reduce the greenhouse gas emissions. <clears throat> and also, and when it comes to the whole seismic activity, I know this has already been mentioned a couple of times, but fracking as a cause of seismic activity is almost, it's somewhat of a red herring by the media. According to Dr. Matthew Cornback, a scientist at Southern Methodist University, who recently released a study on quakes in North Texas, he told Congress that we're not talking at all about fracking. In fact, it's been driving us crazy, frankly, that people keep using it in the press. And this is because it's not associated with fracking, rather it's associated with disposal of the wastewater itself, which is a completely different issue. 